Hello everyone. I just wanted to share my base layers that I put down for my latest Hee Haw donkey drawing. Uh, this drawing is about, oh, I don't know, not even about a tenth of the way through at the moment. I've had to put it to one side to carry on working on commission work. I just wanted to share literally the base layers going down on the head and face of one of the donkeys. I'm sketching out here onto a white pastel mate, which is my well, let's start that again. A white pastel mat, which is my support. It's it works well. The, the white. I don't often use white. I, I'm quite known for using a coloured background and coloured pastel mats, especially. Uh, but here, I just find that the donkeys from the original Hee Haw drawing just stood out so well against the white. Um, I didn't want anything else to offset really and, and detract from the finished piece. So thinking ahead of the finished piece before I've even started. Um, laying down uh, all the tones and the colours as I see them, I tend to sketch in colour, as in where I see shades, I put in the darks, the black, the indigo, the dark brown, um, some Payne's grey, and then I put in the colours that I see that lie under the fur, so it's almost like the dark, when I look at a black dog, I see the dark blues or the dark reds or even dark greens. And that's what I put down. It's all the undertone colours that I then lay the polychromos on top of. And the polychromos do the work of creating the fur, the texture and kind of bring it to life. I know a lot of people use the watercolour pencils on their own. Um, I have done this for the first 18 months that I use them. In fact, I use them dry. I was too nervous to even add water to them. But then I built up the technique that I use it for my base to then build up the dry pencil on the top. Initially, I only used the Albrecht Dura, um, both, both dry and wet. So I'd put down my wet base and then use them dry over the top and then go in again with some water into the areas that might need a little bit more shadow, a bit more intense colour. Um, so here again, you can see me working my way down the face. I'm starting to add in there some other colours, some cinnamon, some light flesh. There's a lot of mauve going in here as well, which I, obviously you don't see a purple donkey every day in a field, but I see these colours and I have to put them in. Um, there's some I'll just check. I've got some Venetian red in there as well. Um, just a bit speeding up here. Going down into the muzzle, there's going to be warm greys, warm grey two, warm grey three, um, some more indigo and some different blues. On to the point now where quite a quick bit of the video where I'm adding water. I'm actually using a watercolour brush on this part and you can see how quickly that water intensifies the pigment. And just going back in the, right at the end, using the pencils onto the wet surface. <laughs> 